Now we will see the transformation products of austenite. So austenite, it is the solid phase which will get transformed into the various products whenever it will cool from 1147 degrees Celsius. So the first, second reaction that is a eutectoid transformation where the transformation products of austenite gets occurs. So first product of the austenite is the transformation of austenite into the perlite. So initially there will be the growth of perlite colonies in austenite. So here in this diagram, you can clearly see the alpha perite and cementite uh, colonies are formed, which will further go and the combination of alpha ferrite and uh, cementite will form the perlite once the austenite gets transformed into the perlite at 727 degrees Celsius and 0.18% carbon. So initially there will be the formation of the fp 3 c nuclei. Then further fp 3 c plates full growth alpha fe now nucleated and further new plates of ferrite and cementites are produced and which will form the colonies of the perlite colonies are formed that is the nucleation and growth of the perlite colonies occurs which is called as a uh, which is called as a perlite then here you can see the microstructure of coarse and fine perlite so this will uh, called as a coarse perlite and this will called as a fine perlite whenever the inter granular spacing between the alpha ferrite and cementite is uh, more then it will be the coarse perlite and if the space is the less that it will be the finer structure then it will be called as a fine perlite next one is uh, again this is the diagrammatic representation of the transformation product of that is the transformation of austenite into the perlite at 10 micrometer scale so the first diagram is uh, fine per coarse perlite and diagram b is the fine perlite then second uh, product is the transformation of austenite into the bainite so it will be obtained on a rapid cooling below 550 degree celsius temperature bainite is extremely fine mixture of ferrite and cementite the transformation starts with the nucleation of the ferrite the lower temperature and hence diffusion rate is very low there are two types of bainite that is upper bainite and lower bainite so the upper bainite formed at a higher temperature and has a feathery appearance and a lower bainite forms at a lower temperature and has a needle shaped structure or appearance in finer distribution of carbides in lower bainite than in upper bainite and hence lower bainite is stronger harder and tougher than upper bainite so the properties depends on the temperature and carbon content. So here in this diagram, you can see the two types of bainite that is a feathery bainite. And second one is the acular bainite that is also called as a needle shaped structure is there, which is a lower bainite. So this is the microstructure of lower and upper bainite. So this is again another structure which shows the upper bainite in diagram A. So this is called as the upper bainite which contains martensite that is a needle shaped structure then cementite that is a content of fe3c and ferrite. Then here in diagram B you can see the 
scanning electron micrograph showing the lower bainite in a martensite matrix of AISI steel that was transformed isothermally at 300 degrees Celsius. So this needle shape structure is a martensite. Then uh, this uh, lower small portion is the ferrite and in the matrix of cementite. So the mixture of ferrite and cementite is a perlite along with there will be the martensite. So this is uh, for the lower bainite and this is for upper bainite. Next one is a transformation of austenite into the martensite. So it is a diffusion-less transformation. The transformation takes place by shear mechanism. So instability of austenite at lower temperature and as there can be no diffusion, austenite tries to stabilize by changing its microstructure. Thus, FCC structure gets transformed into BCT structure. Uh, the martensite is very hard, strong and brittle in nature. The properties depends on the carbon content. So there will be the two. two MS is the martensitic transformation starts. MF represent the martensitic transformation complete. MS and MF depends upon amount of carbon and alloying element. The difference between MS and MF is in the range of 150 to 2010 degrees Celsius. Then 99% austenite transformed to martensite and 1% remains untransformed and is called as a retained austenite. So here in this diagram, you can also see the martensitic structure. So the needle shape structure, you can observe the microstructure of the micro martensite, which is hard in nature. So this needle shape structure is called as a martensite. So it will be formed at a lower temperature between the 150 degrees Celsius to 210 degree Celsius. So not 100% austenite gets transformed into the martensite. Only 99% austenite gets transformed into the martensite and 1% austenite uh, remains untra untransformed that is called as a retain austenite. So this is again an image of the transformation product of austenite that is a martensite microstructure. So this needle shape black dark needle shape portion or element is a martensitic structure. So the needle shape grains are the martensitic phase and the white regions are austenite that failed to transform during the rapid quenching. So here this white region is nothing but a retain austenite and this black needle shape structure is called as a martensitic phase. The next one is a uh, retain austenite. So the 99% austenite gets transformed into the martensite but 1% austenite remains untransformed and is called as a retain austenite. Austenite is relatively soft phase and its preference detracts from the hardness usually desired in the steel requiring full hardening. Martensite has a BCT structure whereas austenite has a FCC structure. Due to these components are like to distort, distort or crack due to the volume changes resulting in increasing in the residual stresses. Thus, retain austenite is not a useful phase for application like precision gauges and measuring instruments. Uh, the retain austenite can be eliminated by two methods, namely sub-zero treatment and tempering. Means if you want to remove the retain austenite, retain austenite will uh, reduce the properties of the material. So this can be reduced or elimination of the retained austenite can be occurs by two methods that is a sub-zero treatment that is a cooling below the room temperature or in minus degree Celsius or tempering of the metal or steel or material 
above the 500 degrees Celsius temperature. Then keeping at that temperature for a particular period of time, and again cool to the room temperature. So that will be called as a tempering. So that retain austenite can be eliminated, and further the properties of the material can be improved. 